Good morning Leo, it's Tuesday, March 15th. Today I wanted to start off with some things that I wanted to mention but forgot because the last video I made at 10 in the evening. You can buy beer and wine when you're 16 and everything else, so like strong alcohol and vodka and stuff, when you're uh, 18. For me it was interesting to hear that you can study so many like different things in, in the US because here when you have when you begin your studies at the university you basically have chosen a path and you have a lot of classes that are mandatory. So in your latest video you talked about how you read the comments on a video and they said like transgender people are subhuman. As I said, gender is for me just a model and not something that has any sort of reality to it. But I can talk about how it is to be an immigrant, which puts me sometimes into a position where people that I'm friends with say, well, all, all those immigrants and all those foreigners, they're here in our country and they exploit our social system. And I'm like, if you want to throw them out, you know, you have to throw me out as well, because I, I have a German passport, but I am also a citizen of Romania. So what do you want to do? Am I a foreigner? Am I an immigrant? Am I not? Do you want to throw me out? And they were like, oh, no. But with you, that's different. Like, how is that different? How am I different from those other people who come here to work? What's the difference? You also talked about how there is in America this tendency to view others as evil and dumb and whatever. In Germany, it's not really the case because most of the parties are very similar. In some years the parties really struggle to highlight what makes them different from the others. As you said in your first video, people vote for Trump or Sanders because they want something else. On Sunday, three of the 16 states of Germany, Baden-Württemberg, Sachsen-Anhalt and Rheinland-Pfalz, voted for their state governments. I don't want to go into too much detail about this because I don't know how interested you are. But I will show some diagrams of the distribution of seats. The state government needs at least half of the seats in the parliament to be able to govern. In my last video I talked about this uh, right-wing party that I was concerned about and as you can see in the graphics the blue seats go to exactly that party. So my concern was really justified. I can make an educated guess about how the governments will look like. The most easy one is my home state of Baden-Württemberg because they are, the Green Party is really strong and they will probably go for a coalition with the CDU, the Black Party, so we would say it's Green-Black. In Rheinland-Pfalz there will probably be a coalition between the SPD and the CDU, so Red-Black. Now Sachsen-Anhalt will be a problem because there aren't many combinations to, uh, to have half of the seats. So maybe they will go for red, green, black. Moving on to personal news. As you can see, I'm not in the location that I filmed my video last time. I'm in Sweden right now. Last Wednesday, I went to Europe's third biggest airport. Tried to find a gray speckled wall. Failed. Tried to film a vlog while lying down on the gray speckled floor. Was interrupted by a gentle lady got on a bus that drove across the airport to the plane, which then drove across the airport again to the runway, which was on the other side of the airport. Then I filmed the takeoff because I am deadly afraid of flying and crashing and dying in an airplane. So uh, that filming actually helped me to sort of detach myself from the situation because I saw it through a camera and not from my own eyes. So lastly, I want to thank everyone who watched our videos. Woo! Thank you to our free subscribers and everyone who commented. 
thank you so much. If you have any questions, you know, you can ask in the forum or down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Leo, I will see you on Friday.